Fourteen jurors sat through hours of testimony in the Derek Chauvin trial, but only 12 found Derek Chauvin guilty. The two alternates, the final two selected last month, were identified right before the jury went to deliberate. Today, one is speaking out about her experience. A white woman in her 50s, a customer service worker, and dog lover. We now get to see and hear from juror number 96, an alternate. We were dismissed and Judge Cahill said that, you know, you're free to, to turn on the news and talk to whoever you want to and, you know, you could go out here and have a press conference if you want to. Lisa Christensen explained what it was like to be in the courtroom. I was sitting pretty much across from him, so when I was done note-taking or looking between the lawyers and paying attention to the witnesses, I did lock eyes with him a couple of times and it, it was a little uncomfortable. Though she was sympathetic towards the former officer. I do feel bad for him, you know, whether, you know, he made a huge mistake and it cost somebody their life, I, you know, Nobody is a winner out of this whole situation. I feel bad. Christensen says one expert witness made a big difference for her, lung and critical care specialist, Dr. Martin Tobin. Dr. Tobin was like the turning point for me. He died of a low level of oxygen. Obviously, he's very intelligent, and I appreciate him explaining it in the way that all of us could understand it. I understood what he was saying. He, he had a low level of oxygen that caused damage to the brain. Witnesses from the scene also played a big role helping Christensen make a decision. I guess I didn't really realize how much or how much people were affected. I mean the bystanders really really brought that out of you know how emotional it was for him. After hearing all the testimony even though she was excused from the group Christensen says she felt Derek Chauvin was guilty on some level. Christensen also said she was reluctant to be on the jury when she was first called up, but ended up agreeing to it.